Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do! My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right! Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left.
You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Oh. 
see you again, asshole. Are you alright? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Related to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. 
you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Pretty chilly, huh? I was just looking for him. Do you know where he is? Thanks. Harry County. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's... That's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Listen, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now.
Harry comment, the victim was lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. I'm gonna leave. I see you in the office, right? Okay. See you later. We got our origami killer. I want every available man to finding Ethan Mars. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. 